like the ones you see all around us here at FAO Schwartz are on every kid's holiday list. But of course, once your kids get those toys, how do you prevent those angry fights over the toys and encourage your kids to share with their friends or even their siblings? Victoria Paracone is the editor of SavvyMommy.com here with some tips. Great to have you back with us Thank this morning. You. The sharing lesson is so difficult, but it turns out we're really not born to share. You know, you're right. Children are not born with the instinct to actually share. They are born with their own point of view and then they learn what's around them. So it's really important for us to understand that, that, you know, they're adamant about not sharing because they're not born with that. So so at what age then can can you teach them that lesson and, and, and know that it's really starting to get when through? When they're a lot older than toddler age. Yeah. And, you know, everyone thinks that the toddler should know to share automatically, but they shouldn't know at toddler age yet. They're still learning just, you know, about their surroundings. So it's, it's, they get very frustrated when a toy is taken away from them or when a toy is not given to them immediately. So they get confused and it's not really their turn to share okay. when they're a toddler. So I know as parents we need to set a good example and, and, and share on our own. But also when you're dealing with toddlers, in addition to setting that lesson, uh, how do you teach them that without forcing the lesson if they're not ready? Well, because toddlers want to emulate everything they see their parents do, let them see you sharing at all times, and then praise them when they are sharing. So that way they'll know this is a good thing for me to be doing. I'll continue to share because mommy and daddy really are excited about when I share. I'll do it again. Okay, so then you're not forcing either. Now, when you have Christmas morning, we've all been there a little bit later in the day, all of a sudden one kid says, I want that toy that Santa sure. brought you. The kid who got the toy gets upset. How do you deal with that, especially on the day that the gifts are given. You definitely want them to see the toys that they were given are theirs and the toys that their other siblings were given are those. Um, but you want them to know, let's take turns. Have some fun. Let's take some turns. And if you don't take turns, we're not going to let you play with those. Or if it's a toy that you know that other you know, family members shouldn't be playing with, don't let them play with it while they're there. Put them away, you know, just to make sure that there isn't a fight. Set those ground rules and, and, don't, and don't leave room for a fight. Is it ever okay for a kid to be selfish? Actually, it is, because you don't want them to be a pushover. You want them to learn when they're supposed to be sharing and when they're not supposed to be sharing. And it sounds very strange, but it's true. Let them understand that there are times where the toys are not supposed to be played with others. Right. All right. And it helps them learn to make their own decisions. Victoria Parapet, always great to have you with us. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Chris. And, of course, for more tips on teaching your kids to share, our partner in health coverage, WebMD.com, has a few. Just search for parenting.